What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the weekly reset. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what the weekly reset is, no, they're not resetting your account back to level 1. But every Monday at 2 a.m. Uh, PST or 3 a.m. PST, everything resets. And when it resets, you basically get to do your bosses, Devalin and Storm Terror all over again, the weekly packs reset, your weekly quest for your battle pass reset, so on and so forth. Now, one big thing that I wanted to talk about, guys, is the strategy that I use for tackling the bosses at reset to make sure that I get the best loot possible from the Valen and, of course, the Wolf. Uh, this is just a quick one. You guys know I don't like to waste your time, <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, as you guys can see from me, the Dominator Wolves and Storm Terror are getting ready to respawn for me here in... About an hour and a half, two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. <laughs> I didn't see the timer, but I know I need to do them. Uh, one very, very important thing when it comes to maximizing your loot is all about timing. So after you guys go through this story and you guys go through Adventure Rank 20 and 25, or I can't remember when the story quests were, but you get them done. Um, when you get these things done, you guys need to make sure that you're positioning around your Adventure Rank level. Because you'll be able to do the bosses again directly after you complete the story, but it might be more beneficial to wait. The reason I say that is because, let's say it's Monday, because it is, right? Or Tuesday for some of you guys in the world, it's almost reset, and reset is coming up, and you happen to be clearing your, your boss, say your Adventure Rank 18. The question that you need to ask yourself is, will I be able to get to the next Adventure Rank rank up reward before I attempt to do the bosses? So what I mean by that is this. So let's say Storm Terror, this is like I'm doing this right here, first time at 25. The question I ask myself is, will I be able to get to 30 before I do the boss? And the reason why is because, let's say you're just in a rush and you see this 300 Adventure Rank XP, you know you gotta do your bosses and you're super duper excited to get the Gladiator set. So you rush in here, you see the Gladiator plus Claymore, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm a real boy, right? But then you realize after you do this that instead, if you would've just waited until you got to 30, you now have a chance to start getting 5 star gear. Right. So if you would have started this on Monday and you said, OK, I know for sure, based on my pacing, you know, I'm doing about a level a day that I'll be 30 by, let's say, Sunday. Right. Before the reset happens again, that I can then do Storm Terror 2 and try to get a five star piece of gear instead. And this will apply to both bosses, obviously. So if you wait till 30 and then you do Storm Terror and of all, let's say on a Sunday and then you happen to get all of these rewards by that Sunday then the boss will roll over right the very next day and then you'll have another chance to get more five star equipment because you're AR 30 right you see how that efficiency kind of works and same thing applies though let's say you guys hit 30 here but then you guys are like damn I know I can hit 35 by next Sunday so then I'll just wait another few days before I do the bosses and then get my best leg up here now this only really applies to uh, Devalin and Storm Terror any future bosses that they release but this is very 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 important now, the opposite is going to apply where let's say you guys get to 35, but you know you're not going to get to 40 by the end of the week. Then at that point, you would just go ahead and do what you guys can do. But you got to pay attention to what your pacing is on how fast it is you're getting through levels. Once you guys get to 40 and beyond, though, then the levels take a little bit longer. So like for me, it's taken me almost a week and a half to get to 45. Like I started, I hit 40 last Monday and I was like, oh man, I know I can get it by Sunday. I can get 45 by Sunday. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Nope. <laughs> Three days per level. Easy clap, right? So I won't be hitting 45 until Wednesday. So this week I'll be waiting until 45 so I can do the bosses myself. But this is uh, just like a quick tip that if you guys haven't been applying this to your game, uh, there's never been a better time to start. Or if you guys are just watching this at Adventure Rank 18 and you guys have done your story portion, but you guys are like, yo, I want to go fight the boss again. Should I? The answer is, again, try to time this around your schedule. So if you're someone who's playing, you know, an hour a day or not playing that much and you know you're not really going to you know, get to that level by the end of the week, then go ahead and do it. And if you guys are somebody like who, all right, look, I got three days off. I'm about to bang this out. And you know that you're going to get to a higher level. Wait till you get to the highest adventure rank tier of loot uh, that they provide here. So anyway, guys, like I said, just a quick video. I can't believe that I forgot to mention this to you guys before. But yeah, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns about this, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. With that being said, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.